Hi, this is Kwat, and in this video, I want to tell you about hyperkalemia. Basically, what this is saying is that potassium concentration outside of cell is higher than usual. And this is bad because the membrane potential of a cell, it's the sum of the permeability of ion multiplied by the membrane potential of that ion. If you have five ions, then you add them up from the first ion to the fifth ion, and that's going to give you the membrane potential. Now, at rest, the permeability that is highest is that of the potassium. So, if you do this for all the ions in a cell at rest, what's going to win is the permeability of potassium. So, what happens is all these other four ions in this five ion system, um, they're going to have low permeability. They don't contribute too much to the uh, resting potential of the cell, even though they might have high, uh, pure membrane potential themselves, but the permeability is low, so their contribution is low, but you'll have this high contribution from potassium because of its high permeability at rest. Now, if you have hyperkalemia, you affect the E for the K. So here is the E for the K. To compute this, it's RTGF, and here you do LN of K inside a cell concentration, K outside a cell concentration. Body temperature, constant, constant, charges plus one. And all of this is going to give you a number that's negative. And this is going to give you a fraction where the inside is always higher than the outside. Hyperkalemia is going to be increasing the outside concentration of potassium, but still inside is much, much higher. So inside is, let's say, 10, outside is one in a healthy cell. But with hyperkalemia, one can be, let's say, 1.5 or maybe two. So Overall, this ratio is going to get smaller in its absolute value. Then this negativity is also going to get smaller because the absolute value is smaller. So what's just happened is if, let's say for the sake of argument, the resting membrane potential is negative 90 millivolt for healthy K, but with hyperkalemia, this could lead to less magnitude, so negative 70 millivolt. So let's see what the effect is for this. You have a voltage-gated sodium channel and the voltage gated sodium channel looks like this. It has a gate here, it has another gate here. This is called the M gate, this is called the H gate. And these two gates are super different. M gate, here's the voltage X axis, openness for the Y axis. I'm gonna put the negative 60 millivolt here. The M gate is going to be closed when the voltage is low. And it's going to increase as the uh, membrane potential of this cell goes higher. This is the M gate, H gate is opposite. It's going to start open when the voltage is low, but then as the membrane potential increases, its uh, openness is gonna decrease, so it's gonna get closed. Now let's bring in this negative 90 and negative 70 into the picture. So in this negative 90 millivolt for the membrane potential of K world, you have a lot of H that is going to be open and you have a lot of M that is going to be closed. So your channel looks like open M and closed H. And for the other situation here, you have a little bit less H open and a little bit more M open. So here is that other world, negative 70 millivolt world hyperkalemia your uh, channels on average might look like a little bit more open and H is a little bit more closed. This might be a small difference to you, but think about the effect. Here you have an action potential and here you get a trigger and positivity starts to build up. Now you are counting on this going up phase and this happens because the voltage gated sodium channel will open on time. Being on time matters and who can be on time better? M or H? Well, another huge difference between M and H is that M can go from close to open fast and open to close fast. M is very responsible, but H is slow to open and slow to close. So this state can, with this activation, immediately get you the open state. And when the potential goes up, H is going to try to close, but H is slow, so H is going to lag to close. And this Lagging results in opening of both M and H and NA will come in, more NA come in, there will be more other NA that can get this positive signal and then this boom, quick surge can happen. But now imagine this hyperkalemic voltage gated NA channel. So you give it this hit, okay, it's gonna take time to open because again, H is just slow. 
yeah, yeah, the M can be open for you, but the H is just going to be more closed on average, and this quick surge might not happen as fast. So overall, hyperkalemia, you are changing the potential of K, and that's gonna affect most the potential of the cell because K has the highest permeability at rest. And the effect of this is going to get to the voltage-gated NA channel and making more channels closed, leaving less channels that can give you this quick surge. As a result, this cell will have a harder time to activate. This is bad for your cells.